Hey guys, welcome to another Java tutorial. So in this video we're gonna learn about while loops. While loops are most widely used loops in Java. Now uh, for those of you know, guys who don't know, I already have created a C++ programming tutorial series. And in that series I have a particular video named Concept of Loops where I have discussed uh, about loops, what are those and why do we need loops uh, elaborately. So I would recommend every, uh, each one of you to go and check that out, check that video out. And I have given a link to that video in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started with while loops. So while loop is a specific type of loop. Loops are basically uh, used when we want uh, something to be repeated again and again and again okay so whenever we want something to be repeated again and again and again we use loops instead of doing that task again and again as an example suppose I want to print your name or my name hundred times so instead of writing out the println instead of writing this uh, instead of writing this thousand times what you wanna do is I just gonna put this inside a loop and I'm gonna print this thousand times and I'm gonna uh, what can I say and I'm gonna run that loop thousand times so that this gets printed thousand times only one statement okay so let's take a look at the structure of a while loop so the basic structure of a while loop is like this you have to write while then inside it you have to write the condition and then inside this you need to do things whatever you want to do okay so while condition and do things so until this condition is satisfied these things will be executed and when this condition uh, is not satisfied the control will come just after while loop so let's write here out, print when, out of while loop okay so when the condition is not satisfied this will come out of the while loop okay so here the here it will enter the while loop so let's write here entering the loop and when it will end, when it will uh, what can I say and when it will done working with the loop it will come out here and it will print out out of the loop so at the start of the loop it will print entering the loop and at the end of the loop it will print out of the loop so that we can see when the loop is actually ending now let's come to the condition now we have to give a valid condition okay so we have to give a condition that will uh, actually become false after some time if a condition doesn't get false after some time then the loop will be executed forever and ever and ever for infinite times and those things are called actually infinite loops and we never want to do that so we have to give a condition that will be satisfied for some times and after some time it gets invalid as an example suppose I want to print the value uh, suppose I want to print the value uh, create a variable a and give a value 1 here so suppose I want to print the value of a until the value of a is less than 6 okay so I write while a is less than 6 that is until the value of a is less than 6 we want to do these things okay and when the value of a is greater than 6 or equal to 6 we just come out of this loop okay so uh, let's go and print it here I'm sorry for that let's go and I don't know what I'm doing and here just print out the value of a so let's see what we are doing first of all we are checking the condition if the value of a is less than 6 yes it is 1 so let's go and print the value of a that is 1 so we are printing the value of 1 so this will go and pr this will execute it again uh, I mean this will check the condition again the value of a is again less than 6 so execute again again less than 6 execute again again less than 6 execute again and the condition will never become false 
so now you're getting things as I've said before you have to have a condition that will become false after some time but as you can see here the condition will never become false because uh, the value of a is not increasing so it will be less than 6 always so we have to find a way to increment the value so that it becomes greater than 6 after some time and the loop becomes false so that is why after doing all our tasks we have to increment the value of a okay so now let's see what happens now the condition is this okay correct so do this event value of a increment it so the value becomes now 2 okay so now value becomes 2 2 is less than 6 do it again do it do it again do it again so finally after some time the value of a becomes 5 so when the value of a becomes 5 then we increment it and it becomes 6 so next time it will check the condition it will see that 6 is not less than 6 so what it will do is it will come out of the loop since the condition is not satisfied anymore so the condition uh, loop I'm sorry so it will come out of the loop and it will print out of while loop so let's go and run it and see what happens I've run it and as you can see at first it prints entering the loop so here is our program control and it is printing entering the loop so then we are entering inside the loop and inside the loop as I have said it is printing from 1 to 5 and after that the value of a becomes 6 since 6 is not less than 5 the control comes out of the while loop and it prints out of while loop so here is out of while loop so this is the basic of a while loop uh, I hope you guys got the concept of while loop please if you have any problem re-watch this video again and again and if you have any questions just write those in comments and I'll be happy to answer those so thank you very very much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and loved this tutorial uh, do hit the like button and subscribe for more new tutorials I'm uploading new tutorials every day so thanks for watching